kill you. This time. <laughs> I will kill you. <laughs> Apple vision. Apple vision. Are you gonna make the world better or worse? I will kill you. Let's get right to it. Apple Vision, step up to the plate. I've been waiting. Do not make me wait. Vision, Apple, Apple Vision, Apple, Apple Vision. We are here to play. So I'm sure if you have heard of Apple Vision 3499, you can change your reality today or next year when it comes out. Or if you already got the money, clearly you already have it. <laughs> Apple Vision. It's time. DJ, play that music. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, Apple Vision is, has come out $34.99, $3,499. You can get yourself one. It has beautiful augmented reality for you. <laughs> Do we think this is going to help or make things worse? Imagine this. Every day you sit there with your, with your iPhone in your face. I never have to look at your ugly face again. Nope. <laughs> oh no. I can just sit back, relax, and scroll through my, uh, my apps and look at TikToks and watch movies real close. People are going to do? Do you think that people are going to use reality to watch a movie every now and then on their couch eating popcorn? Or do you think they about to get real freaky with their AI girlfriend? Come on! Come on! What do you think they're really going to do? You think they're just going to sit back and relax and just have a good time? No! Oh, the, the AI girlfriend's about to get crazy, boy. The porn industry is about to ravage through the Apple Vision. I think porn will go up exponentially, maybe not exponentially, but I think you porn is going to have an uptick when that Apple Vision comes out because people who don't have the money, such as myself, will buy it. I won't. What do I need it for? <laughs> what do I need it for? Huh? Tell me. No, nah, I'm good. 
I'm good on that count. I don't think I need to uh, get out there and just look at, um, I don't need to look at breasts in my face. Let's be real. Apple Vision, that's what it's going to do. It's going to up the porn. Those TikToks are going to get crazy. Those girls are going to go crazy on them TikToks. Those hot tub streamers. Imagine watching a hot tub streamer in your face, buddy. With a bag of popcorn and a handful of... <laughs> you know! Okay. Let's be real. Let me calm down. That music got me... That, got, that music got me calm. <clears throat> Ladies, if your man telling you he's buying the Apple Vision so he can run through his apps a little bit more. <laughs> don't fall for it. Because these apps out here are going to be crazy, man. <clears throat> and I'm being real. If you're a porn addict or you're somebody who's really into the ladies and watching them booty shake, please don't get the Apple Vision. Please don't get the Apple Vision. Do not buy. Do not buy. The $34.99, that's a car. Or that's mortgage payments. You want to buy that to just look at booty cheeks in your face? Please don't do it. Please don't do it. But let's let's move over. Let's uh let's let's switch gears just a second. Okay. So let's say. <clears throat> what is this? Okay. <clears throat> so people want to escape the reality, not just to go look at other stuff, but some people really want to just get away. And this is where I think we're going to create even more lonely people. Men are already extremely lonely, but I think this is going to make it worse for people who are already lonely. Here's why. Because I believe that this is a way to escape even more. I think people are already looking for a way to escape and I think this will allow that, right? And I think people will spend $34.99, even if they don't have the money. They'll buy that Apple Vision. Because the Apple Vision isn't going to be for wealthy people. Man, it's for the poor people. We know what it is. <clears throat> They're going to spend their money to live in an ultimate reality. Because I want to say this. Imagine you are wealthy. Are you really going to want to drift from reality? If you have enough money to pretty much not necessarily do whatever you want, but let's say you can pretty much do whatever you please, right? If you want to go to the mall and spend two or three grand you can do that it ain't gonna bother you you can go down to the local uh sneaker shop and buy you a pair a few pair of jordans because you feel like it you can go get your your family extravagant christmas gifts because you have the funds you don't have to drive the most luxury car but you drive a car that gets you from a to b and you save your money you're good with it and you have money to just spend are you gonna want to wait to get away from that reality why Friends and family all around. You got money to just bless people with. And you want to get away from that reality? Who are the who are the people who want to get away from reality more than anybody? People who hate their life. Come on, baby. <clears throat> There's people out there who hate their lives. There's people who are poor. People who are broke. I don't have a lot of money, you know. I'm one of those cats. I'll be real with you. I live, I live paycheck to paycheck for the most part. You know, I got a little, I got a few dollars saved here and there, but because I have to fix my vehicles, that kind of knocks my money out here and there. Expenses come up. Life comes up. You know? So who wants to escape reality? I don't. I love what I do. I love live streaming, and I admit that sometimes I want to escape. My escape is going outside, feeling the sunlight, <clears throat> getting away. <clears throat> But some people, they don't have that reality. Let's be real. Those people who have horrible family lives. Those people who go home to parents that hate them. Those people who go home to mother and father or just a mother or just a father who don't love them really. Or just take care of them. Right? Not affectionate. And there's some parents who are outright abusive. Those people who are going to go home to toxic relationships. You know? The people who are just living by themselves, who don't want to experience sleeping alone again in the bed after their significant other just broke up with them, heartbroken. This Apple Vision can provide that a reality escape. Here's the problem. Let's just, outside of the abusive situations, which would require more help, for the person who's sitting at home by themselves all alone with nowhere to go, 
and they're thinking to themselves. They see that Apple Vision, and then Apple Vision is speaking to them, saying, No, it won't. It's not going to cure your loneliness. It's going to make it worse. Because the more you get away from reality, the more socially awkward you're going to become. The more you get away from people, the worse you're going to be around people. This Apple Vision is going to tear us apart. I'm not saying that as an, I'm not saying that's a guarantee. But if we don't see this coming, people are going to be get more and further and further apart. And what happens when people get further and further apart? What happens when people stop becoming coming around other people and they just start becoming robots pretty much? Imagine people who just sit at home every day. They go to work, they come home, put on their augmented reality, play some video games, and they disappear. Right? What are they doing? They're going to be a lot easier to manipulate. They're going to be a lot easier to get the, them to fall in line. And these people are going to be so sad, so depressed. Because one day they're going to realize, they're going to open their eyes. I don't care how many video games you play, how much online gaming you do. I don't care how much booty you look at on the augmented reality of Apple Vision. It will make you feel more and more lonely because one day you're going to open your eyes and realize that these people that you're looking at, these people that you see aren't really there. You have nobody to touch, nobody to hug, nobody to kiss, nobody to be true friends with, to no, no shoulder. Go on camera. Come on camera. Work with me. No, no shoulders to lean on. It's all gone. It's all gone. Um, it's a sad thing, you know, and, uh, I see it coming. That's what it's, the first thing I thought about when I saw Apple Vision was, man, it's just going to make people even more lonely than before. I'm not saying that Apple Vision is trying to do this because they're creative. Apple was going to do what Apple does. This is not the first Apple Vision we've seen. It's just Apple's version of it. We've seen augmented reality. There's places you can go. If you got enough money, you can escape completely to virtual reality. Completely. Um, they're just make they're just giving it to us broke people, that's all. Now they're gonna make money off us. And uh it's gonna tear us apart. You think we were already listen, I don't wanna get too negative, man. I I, I don't. Because I think there is some good to Apple Vision. Um, but I think that who it's going to be marketed to, the way it was showing it was people who want to sit down and watch a movie. It doesn't even really show much productivity. It shows a few guys, shows a few guys, a couple of women doing something productive for, for the most part. It's marketed to just help you get away. And I think that makes people even more lazy and more and less productive. Um, I don't know. We will see what Apple Vision does for us in the next couple of years when it comes out next year. My thought is this is going to come out early next year. My thought is it's going to come around. It's going to come out around Valentine's Day in between Valentine's Day and spring break. Why? Because that's when people are going to be the most alone. They're not going to pull it out during Christmas now. They, they never do that. But they said early next year. I don't think they're going to shoot for like spring breakish. Or Valentine's Day. That's when you really can buy. That's when people are really gonna want to escape when they're the loneliness, when they're really lonely, when all the people, all the good-looking people are partying at spring break, getting crazy, or Valentine's Day when everybody's kissing and hugging up. You got nobody. You're gonna, they're gonna say, hey, thirty-four ninety-nine. In fact, we'll give it to you for twenty-nine ninety-nine right now. For Valentine's Day special. Are you alone? <laughs> Them AI girlfriends are going to come out and be like, are you alone? Are you alone? Well, don't worry, baby. They're going to come out and say, for an easy $49.99 a month, I can talk to you crazy. Or you can be like Karen and just, uh, what is that? Her name's not Karen, is it? I forgot her name, but I think her name is something in that area. That new AI girl who's going to charge you $1 a minute. And she's going to get freaky, freaky for you, baby. Oh, freaky, freaky. Real freaky. How sad is that, guys? But as much as as much as we want to really make jokes about it and be stupid and be dumb, it's actually pretty serious. Um, people are going to fall for this kind of stuff. People are going to get crazy with this kind of things. And it is going to be pretty sad if we just um, let it go along. Um, if we just say, oh, those are just for losers. You don't understand. Society is creating losers. That's the point. They want men to be lonely. They want women to be lonely. So where they where do they have to run? To technology. 
That's the point. Don't you get it? You need to give they're coming at the kids. So since you may say that's the dumb losers, they're getting them where they're still children. Right? Where they're the most vulnerable. And then they grow up alone all through high school. And the next thing you know, a lonely high schooler turned into a lonely college student. A lonely college student turned into a lonely adult. And then they'll start spending their money on AI. We have broken society up. And now it's really tough to get us back together. But what you need to do, go make some friends. I know it's fun to play video games. In fact, we're going to play some video games here a little bit. But we got to be able to walk away. At some point, we got to be able to go, hmm, you know what? Maybe I should go make some actual friends outside here. Maybe I'll call up my buddy or something and go eat dinner. You know, I, I, I go through it. <laughs> All I got is my wife out here, you know. But when I go to work, I, trust me, when I go to work, I chat it up. I talk. I talk my head off. I don't care. I make sure to make friendships because it matters. It matters. Apple Vision. What do you think? Good or bad? Guess we'll find out. Peace.